Hey guys, how's it going? So in this video, we're gonna be talking about Kathy Woods, how she really loves workhorse. At least her, her ETF lo loves workhorse. I would love for her to come out with a video regarding on workhorse, on why she likes workhorse so much, or why she's invested in workhorse, which no, I would consider a spec play. But with Kathy Woods backing it, it's kind of tough to determine that it's a spec play because obviously Kathy Woods sees some kind of vision for Workhorse and that's the reason why Kathy Woods investing in Workhorse and been adding slowly to her position. I would appreciate a thumbs up for this video. If you don't want to give it for me, you can give it for Kathy Woods. Anyway, so this is the ARK Invest, and as you can see, like, I remember watching, I remember seeing the first time Kathy Woods invested in the workhorse, it was a very speculative position, and ever since then, it's been, it's been uh, gaining momentum, because I think I first ran across the stock when she had around 200,000 shares, and now it's all the way up to 473 this is on this is not even up to date yet this is actually a day behind this is on uh august 11th 2020 and workhorse used to be like at the bottom of the list as a very speculative uh, speculative stock and then over time it's been building and building and building and now it's like pretty good it's like 25th on the list with 473,000 shares which is pretty big i mean she uh and the fact that she's not buying at two dollars like i noticed when she first started buying is when the stock ran up already when it ran up to like fifteen dollars to twenty dollars that's when she started buying and then suddenly and then over time that that position's been building and building and building and building so yeah, like I I don't understand the reasoning behind it, but obviously she likes workhorse and I can see over time the 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 amount of shares will increase slowly over time in my opinion. So yeah, workhorse stock right now is like Lily, she could probably sell off her Tesla and make a major position in workhorse, like major major position in workhorse, but probably not going to do that but she could she probably buy out the entire company just you know in my opinion uh workhorse right now is uh, the stock is trading at four dollars and forty fifteen dollars and forty one cents it dropped all the way down to 1493 uh i did buy some more car options today on workhorse i will be just slowly adding on my car options because i think that workhorse is uh undervalued a little bit and I, you know, just simple. Well, if if you look at when it, where it used to be, I mean, if you look at like a year ago, oh, wow. Uh, the stock was sitting at two fifty one. Yeah, that would be. I would like. I would love to buy it there, but you know, just because Kathy Wood is backing the company up, how it's going to be very very difficult for short sellers. To bring the stock price down because w what happens if the stock price keeps going down? If you were invested in like if, if I was Kathy Woods, I'd probably just keep adding on to my position. Buy more and more and more the further and further it drops. So I mean she's like a backstop to how far a workhorse stock can drop. So I don't think workhorse is ever gonna go back to uh two two or three dollars again unless they don't get the USP deal and uh and the, the stock drops off like a rock and then at that point I don't think Kathy would be able to save the stock but uh, until then I mean I think uh, around $15 ish like the low 15s I think that's a buying opportunity and then if it goes to like $20 it's probably you know if you're a swing trader it'd probably be a selling opportunity but that's just my opinion I think it's gonna be volatile it's probably gonna trade between you know, fifteen dollars to twenty uh twenty dollars unless they get that USP deal and then the stock could skyrocket to thirty, forty dollars in a very short amount of time because a short squeeze would definitely happen and the stock will skyrocket in a big, big way. Shorts are very courageous by holding on to their short position because 
if we look at Workhorse's short position, uh, it has a massive short position. This is I don't think this is even up to date yet. But as oh, it is up to date as of July thirty first. Also, oh, oh man, I, I gotta check some other stocks too. As of July thirty first, two thousand twenty, there is nineteen point seven one million shares shorted. Uh, twenty percent of the stock is shorted. So there's a lot of this is a huge short position on a uh, workhorse, and you know I that's why I think there could be a massive short squeeze if they ever get that USP deal. I think massive amount of money will flood into workhorse and the, the stock will skyrocket uh, to like $30 but that's just my opinion and uh, we have to wait until that USP deal get, comes out that'd be pretty cool if uh, Kathy Wood bought some Diamond Peak Holdings it would show that hey you know Diamond Peak Holdings is actually gonna merge with uh, Lloydstown because that shows confidence and this would be like complete bull because, like, I called them. They haven't called me back. I emailed uh, Workhorse. I emailed, uh, sorry, I emailed Lloydstown. I emailed the, the Diamond Peaks Holding. And they haven't got back to me yet. So, obviously, maybe they can't. But, obviously, there's not too much of a problem. Because, like, these guys didn't even phone me back yet. Maybe they don't, they don't think I'm, like, they should bother or something. Uh, this thing is just here for the purpose of putting pressure on the stock so workhorse stock doesn't explode because if this stock explodes to like $30 that would look extremely positive on workhorse because then uh, this company would be worth like three four uh, like 4.5 billion dollars and workhorse has 10% of that which would make it a 450 million dollar position so yeah that would be very positive for workhorse but because of this article right here is keeping the stock price from flying in my opinion Tesla Tesla is uh, is up two dollars and 24 cents 0.14 cents after hours I said it would hit 1500 today and it broke my expectation Tesla is probably gonna head up higher who knows at the end of the day big money wants to funnel their money back into Tesla right now Solo, solo is depressing, but whatever. That's just that's just my reality. I chose to hold on. I could have sold out and I could have ran away with massive amount of profit, like massive amount of profit. But I decided to hold, and now I am crying. I'm not crying, but I'm very depressed. Uh, but I know that th I know that this is an opportunity. I just don't know where the bottom is. That's why I'm buying car options very slowly, just 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 so I don't you know mess up. So like every day I would buy like five hundred dollars worth of car options. So yeah, just very slowly adding on my car position, and I'm trying to buy as low as possible, like two dollars and fifty cents. You know, I'm hoping that next week there is some kind of big news and the stock pops like crazy on that big news. But who knows? Maybe it won't happen. Sometimes I expect something. You know, stocks run on the most unexpected scenario. Like, you would never think about it. It would just suddenly one day it would just come up and the stock would just skyrocket. Uh, Neo, uh, Neo stock is uh, up a penny after hours. Uh, up, you know, Neo is probably running on Tesla right now you know investors are more positive about NEO because Tesla ran so much today Arcomotive FUV up 30 cents today Blink Blink is up a dollar 39 down 12 cents after hours like I said Blink is a buy the dip opportunity kind of stock play because it's going to be around for the future, especially if you're thinking about just swing trading it. Uh, Neo, at least that's just my opinion and not financial advice. I already talked about Neo. Candy today was uh, just trading sideways. Canopy on Canopy today was uh, neutral. Cron just kind of trading sideways. Uh, Navox that's pulled back quite significantly. Could be an opportunity, but you're, you're gambling that 
big money is going to keep pumping this stock up. It could, they could. But the whole vaccine with the Russian thing, that caused all the, uh, like, COVID-19 plays to plummet. Uh, Aurora is down 21 cents. AMD had a nice day today, up 7.45%. Uh, high tide today was just trading sideways. Uh, Micron today is a lagger. It's just trading sideways. The SPY today almost hit like just one more push. Just one more, one like, uh, like just four more dollars. Like three or four more dollars, like two more dollars. And this thing is all, all time highs. It just needs to move up a little bit more. Just a little bit more before my prediction becomes right. Intel. Intel is a uh, neutral. Bitcoin today is, you know, just been trading sideways lately. Um, yeah. Talon Metal Corporation. Uh, like, I think looking at... Um, Nickel right now is probably a good idea because I think Tesla is going to keep going up and Tesla is going to need a lot of nickel in the future. So, you know, that's why I'm bullish on nickel and pullbacks on nickels could be an opportunity. Another one, uh, another nickel play would be Canadian uh, nickel company. I bought a little bit more shares today. I don't know where the bottom is, but I bought some more shares today because Tesla ran and I'm looking at nickel plays. Anyways, uh, and then liberal health science today was just like trading sideways. Planet 13 had a nice day today, uh, up, no, 11.73%. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Subscribe for future updates and have a great day. Bye.